So I've had a lot of interest in my overview video on the laser I did a couple years ago. I've fielded a number of questions, uh, both on YouTube, Instagram, and elsewhere, so I thought I'd go over a few additional tips. What I want to go over right now is to help get consistent cuts across the entire bed of your laser. You have to make sure your mirrors are aligned, but you also need to make sure that your bed is level to your gantry. If it's lower in a corner or in the middle, it's going to have trouble keeping its focus in that spot compared to maybe where you set it off of your origin. That all references this subframe that the honeycomb bed sits on. And so what I want to show is on this laser how you can adjust that to get it far more level across the entire spectrum. Now this is a Chinese laser. Uh, you may have some imperfections, so if your frame itself is out of, uh, out of level, out of square, you're going to be fighting that and you may need to sh shim and uh, adjust it in spots there. But you can start by trying to get the whole frame on the four corners and the lifting post level first. So let's take a look at how you do that. So the whole bed lifts and raises off these four Acme screws in the corners. And now mine's motorized, so if I press the buttons on the side, that central motor spins a belt underneath that plate, and the whole table will lift up and lift down. So as I move the button or press the buttons and lift it up and down, the table is going to move further away or closer to the head of the laser or the focusing cone. And that is how you would set your depth of your cut to focus the laser on this one. However, as it moves around to another side, it may be higher or lower than the opposite side of the laser. So we need to check that. And if you find that it's higher on one end than the other, what you need to do is you need to adjust these screws so that when you move the head all around the bed in all four corners, that it's gonna be as close to the same distance as possible. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is, is take these plates off. And to do that, you're gonna see there's about four screws across the front, there's four screws across the back, and this panel is actually split in two, and there's gonna be three screws in the middle. I've already taken the back ones out, so let's go ahead and take these front ones out so we can access the belts underneath. Here you can see uh, it's, it's like a serpentine type um, belt. It's all driven off the motor in the back. These are your two tensioners. And then the belt engages each post in the corner. And that's what we need to loosen up so that we can make our adjustments. So to loosen up these two tensioning blocks, uh, there's the Two, two machine screws. They are uh, on mine. They are a three millimeter head. So just go ahead and loosen up each one of these. And the belt tension should pull those forward a little bit. And then just move them all the way forward. That will give enough slack on the belt that you can move the individual posts. Uh, independently of each other. So now that we have the uh, the belts loosened to where we can move these individually, we need to check to see how level we are in our corners where these posts are. Uh, so you need to have your laser on and you're gonna wanna move your laser head over to one side near the corner. And then I like to use a one, two, three block slide it under there and then you're gonna move that single post you're gonna adjust it moving it up and down to where it just touches like that I can slide it but it's not pushing up on the head so we have a reference point there Now we move it back to the far corner and do the same. 
you see we have a gap there. And that can create our far back corner to be out of focus from the rest of the bed. So we need to adjust this one to bring it up to the same height. Bring it up just so it touches. And still move the block. It's not pushing on the head down just a little bit. Just like that. So we want to do that in every corner of the bed. Now that we've confirmed our bed is uh, level or as level as we can get it with these, we need to retighten our belt. So you want to make sure these are loose. Bring them back. Snug up one side on each and just double check that your belts are pulling tight and that all the uh, slack is taken up as best you can. You don't want to make it too tight but that has, can prematurely wear your belts. But just put some tension on them as you tighten them down have to work back and forth a little bit. Because you just don't want them to be skipping in the teeth on each post. That will get you into a position where your, your bed is back out of level. So they should be fairly taut. Um, and then when you move them, it shouldn't have a lot of slack. So that's pretty good. Last thing I would do uh, while you've got your cover off is do a real good cleaning underneath here. Then you can re-attach re, uh, your plates. So we've got the honeycomb bed reinstalled and secured using the screws. We want to make sure that that is uh, secured down snug, that it's not uh, loose and going to vibrate around. And then we want to just double check one more time to make sure that the honeycomb bed is level now that we've leveled the, the underlying uh, steel bed. So again, take your reference block, I'm using a 123 block, uh, slide it under here, adjust it so that it, it just touches but doesn't push up on the laser head. And then you want to move your uh, laser head around to the various corners of your bed. Double check. There again, very little gap. Should be tight on all sections. Once you've got that dialed in, you know your bed is flat, your cuts should be much more consistent across the entire bed. I would go ahead then and just double check the alignment of your mirrors. Make sure your chiller is working at optimum uh, temperature and your air assist. And then you should be really good to go on cutting whatever material these machines were made to cut. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. I know a lot of people that look at these lasers and ask, is it, is it difficult? What all do I have to do? I hear there's a lot of maintenance. It's not hard once you do a little research, once you do a little digging, some common tools, some common sense, uh, and a little help from the internet can help make these economical machines useful in a hobbyist workshop. So if you like what I'm doing, uh, leave a comment. If you have a question, leave a comment. I try to get back to those as best I can. Uh, and if you want to support me doing more of these videos, go ahead and subscribe down below. I appreciate everyone hanging out and uh, learning a little bit more about these lasers with me. And hope to see you on the next one.